Hey everybody, it's Melanie coming to you from the Outer Banks, North Carolina. I'm going to make this short, I'm going to make this sweet, and I'm not going to rant. I, this is the third time I'm doing this video. I'm ready to get on with my day. Um, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, I'm kind of doing these how-to videos to help people get their lives straight and get um, everything working in a flow state for themselves. And so it's like practical application here. The biggest help in my life of feeling good about myself when I wake up and when I get ready for my day is the fact that my house is neat, tidy, and organized. I do a load of laundry every day. I have five people in our family. So three little girls, nine, eight, and seven, and my husband. I do a load of laundry every day. Some days it's towels so that we have fresh towels every week. Some days it's their clothes and some days it's bed sheets. But I do a load of laundry every single day. I fold that laundry. I put it away. And I don't put it away. Well, I put mine and my husband's away. But um, the girls, they put their own clothes away. They are capable of organization at the age of like three or four. So they're able to put their own stuff away. I don't need to do that for them anymore. Um, teaching our children that they have to help in, with the upkeep and that it's a team effort and a basically a community effort. Like within your home, it's like a micro community. So I'm teaching our children that they need to help in the effort of the upkeep. So they every week they wash the bathrooms. One washes the sinks, one washes the toilets, one takes out the trash, I vacuum and mop. Um, every day they put dishes away out of the dishwasher. And every day that there's laundry, they put it away that they need to put away. Keeping up on the upkeep of life and keeping the house tidy and keeping everything organized and decluttered greatly reduces stress, greatly increases your positive frequency. So like your vibrational frequency of the energy you're holding within your body. It's very hard to stay in a positive vibrational state when you are surrounded by clutter and unorganization because that's a re your exterior reality is always a reflection of your interior reality. Granted, when I'm sick, when I'm like down and out and I'm not able to do physical, I'm not able to physically upkeep myself like I normally would, which is fine when you're sick because you need to rest, you're detoxing. My house doesn't look this good. It doesn't, it's not, it's not where it needs to be. However, when I'm feeling good and granted a lot of people right now are feeling sick and tired all the time, but I, I know this for a fact. Even when I'm sick, I keep up on my dishes. Even when I'm sick, I keep up on my trash. Even And I take my trash out every day and I don't keep fruits or vegetables or any food waste in the trash can. This is like... <laughs> Hang on. Not really sure where I left off just now, but the moral of the story is keep organized. Keep tidy. Keep on top of your stuff. stuff and... Um, The more organized and decluttered and clean your home is, the better you're going to feel inside. So if you're struggling and life is kind of crappy and you're feeling really depressed and down and out, clean something because you'll always feel better. Guaranteed. I, I, I don't know why it works, but it works. So um, maybe if you're not able to clean up the inside of you at this time because of whatever you're going through and whatever pain you're working through, which I've been there and I felt it, um... Whatever you're going through, if you're not able to clean up the inside of you, try cleaning up the outside, the exterior reality, and see what happens. Um, and get your kids engaged. Get your kids helping. They need to have responsibility. They need to understand that it's a team effort. And it is not the sole responsibility of the person caring for the family as the homemaker or even the sole responsibility of the parents that work and then have to be the homemakers. I've been there too, man. That's that sucks. It's so hard. It's so hard. Having your kids help you. Oh, another job that our kids have to do. They're out there playing. And <laughs> um, another job that they do have to do is um, tear up my kale. So they have to wash the kale and they have to tear the kale. <laughs> and then I get to have salad all the time and I don't have to do it because uh, we buy like the whole stocks or we've got a garden now. So um, yeah. All right. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I finally got it less than five minutes. That was the goal. And uh, I will wish you guys all lots of peace, love, and namaste. And for those of you just chiming in, um, namaste to me is the soul within me recognizes the soul within you. So that's why I say it at the end of every video. But I hope you all have a beautiful day. Peace, love, and namaste.